arriving at the uh, this bunker here in Poland. You don't want to pull in there? Yeah, we are going there. They got some half tracks in there. MRE. Yeah. Kniewo. Międzyrzecz. So this is a tour site actually. Oh, look at that, an old tank. That's cool. Now that's a that's a uh, Russian T-72, isn't it? Or what's it called? Yeah, that's the old Russian tank. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's one with the slope front right there. Big ass missiles. They got some camo in here, that's cool. Oh, this is cool. Look at that barrel, that's rifled. Look at this kid over here. He's like steering the gun. Kid, hey, do it. Do it. You don't have to run from me. So this is an anti-aircraft gun right here. They would sit there and crank this real fast. You know, to turn it. I guess it's locked down, so it's not going to turn too much right now. But, uh, wow. How cool is this? People in Europe are still living World War II. I'm telling you, one way or the other. Well, that's things. Is that what it is? Is that deep underground? So 120 feet underground. Wow. What is this? This is the tunnel network? Yeah. Maybe this out. It's and this goes? All underground system. Everything uh, uh, we've got here is more than 30 kilometers of tunnels. This particular ton, the one we're here to see today, is 30 kilometers long, uh, which is about 20 miles. Uh, something like that. For flashlights, for our underground systems, there's dark and no light, so... All right, so we're going down in a dark bunker, so we got plenty of flashlights, I hope. For four and, five, four and a half kilometers, so... Four and a half kilometers, so that's about, you know... Almost uh, four kilometers. Three miles. From this. Wow, this is cool. This is to keep the tanks from crossing. They get hung up on this stuff. So these things are really anchored in good. They have uh, concrete footings. So we're going to go out to take a look at these pillboxes that you, you can see where they've got all the dents in them where they got shot several times during World War II. But that's where the entrance to all these bunkers is going to yeah. be. It's amazing. All the bullet holes are still there. Those are the original bullet holes? So what did they put on here? Uh, caliber of 203 millimeters from those uh, Russian hobbies right there. And this, uh, they shot, they shot them. Is that? That's concrete. No, no, it's metal. steel. Oh, that's metal. Yeah, it's steel. 52 oh, okay. tons of steel. 52 tons of steel right there. Yeah, for two mission guns right inside. Holy cow. Sold, soldiers of the crew. Wow. There's a place where the bullet actually, the uh, artillery round actually got through there, so it probably killed everybody inside. And in, at the bottom too. Wow, on the bottom too? Yeah. Oh, right there? Yeah. Wow, it got through that. So this is, uh, this was the escape hatch. Last time I saw something like this was in Saving Private Ryan. You know, on the backside, the Germans come running out and they shoot them, you know, in the trenches. Almost uh, two meters of uh, concrete. Two meters, six feet thick. Uh, huh? Exactly, it's uh, one and a half meters. In, right under the top it's something like two meters. Okay. Cool. These are bullet holes right here. Get the key. Okay, it's not uh, the original one. It's yeah. our middle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, open it. There was uh, something. All right, let's go and check it out. I'm gonna hit my head. This low. Achtung! Achtung. And this was an active, I mean, there was battles fought right here. Yeah, even then, 
they had overpressure blast valves. Them Germans were smart, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so you know, that's something interesting. Because there should be a door, 400 kilometers wide. Yeah. And there is something like the gates in the castles, you know. Yeah. Alrighty. And the Germans can say hello there. On the <laughs> second know. time. Another overpressure blast valve. Golly, it still works too. Isn't that crazy? Wow. And if, if he wants to shoot your vest. Oh wow, so you can shoot back into the entrance. Yeah, so there's the door right there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> they can pull it and shoot at him. Wow. Soldiers. Oh, wow. There's a communication corridor with the commander room on the second round here is for communication. At least he's got tall ceilings in here, you know? So there's the commander's office. Hey, dude, what's up? Um, here we have the communication room. This isn't too bad, you know? At least you got tall ceilings in here, you know? It's not like, it's got like nine foot ceilings in here, so you're not claustrophobic. Not like a rising S bunker, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a punch in. Okay, so here's my favorite room. This is the crapper. So they had flushing toilets? That's amazing, that can't be true. Yeah, they can have flushing toilets in here. Are you sitting down doing your business, buddy? I guess you are. Okay. Here we've got a crew room. From this place, the, the soldiers came up to the positions. Your filter. Here we've got a heavy machine gun to secure the entrance to the object. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can go inside and check this out. Look at that, they got a filter right there. That's for your war gases, so that has, that's a carbon filter right there from World War II. They had the technology even back then, that's just amazing. But you see, carbon will protect you from the chemicals, so if they're using chemical warfare, look at this. I feel very safe in here, you know it? I mean, you got such a small hole, you know, that, um, such a small hole that they uh, can't hit you through it. All right, so we're gonna leave this room. Go back in here. This door, like two inches thick. Only 200 kilograms. Uh, there was even, the, there was that white more than almost two tons. Oh, this is those turrets, those green yeah, ones? Those turrets with uh, six shooting places. You can go on the top. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, it's... That's so okay. No, I don't need to crawl up there. I get the idea. That's cool. He's allowing me to go up there, but I don't want to crawl up there. And I'm getting old. I'm getting old and lazy. Imagine but, there huh? was, uh, almost, there was uh, 10 soldiers of the crew. So the two soldiers here mm -hmm. to take the, all of the sh shooting bullets from uh, the empty uh, all, all, all of the bullets and yeah. ammunition. Yeah. They clean this up on this place. The next. Combination, guys? Yeah. These things are well built. And on the top, there was uh, six soldiers. Two for each machine gun officer. Yeah. And... Huh. That's cool. One of the guns there. For anti-gas mask. Filters for the gas. Okay. okay. Now where? Through there. Into the map room. So this is what it felt like to be a German soldier, eh? Uh, there was only the map room, so here we've got an observation bubble. Got more bunk rooms, six more guys in here. That's about eight feet by 10 feet, and they got six guys in there, but it's got nine foot ceilings. So the soldiers were selected with the height 175 centimeters and 80 kilos, no more. Really? Yeah, we are too big. Yeah, we're too fat. And too big. Yeah. Okay, what's this in here? Oh, the other pillbox? Oh, yeah. Observation, cool. Oh, this is the observation, okay. Wow. On the top God, they got these Germans spent so much money to build all this stuff, you know? Uh, it was something like more than, more than 100 uh, million, billions of those dotych. So it's 
Well, one has billions lost it's something like 20, 25 billions of dollars. Uh, billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. 20, 25 billions of dollars. Well, they knew they were going to be in a war, didn't they? And you see it everywhere, over the last fall. Yeah. So every room, in every room, just in case of the explosion. Overpressure, yeah. Not only. When you uh, were shooting in this, yeah. probably in this, uh, right, Turrets. in the turrets and other, other rooms, right, maybe here. I'll follow you. Here it was a flame thrower. Oh wait, here's the break room. Yeah, it's the room where they're eating. They got all their foods and rations. This has been a nice job in the army to stay in a bunker, you know? Uh, it's the most interesting weapon here. What's that? Okay, can we go inside? And there is an escape hatch, I think. Yeah, we have an escape hatch, but it wasn't so easy. The door was the easiest part to escape. Mm -hmm. Here. They need this iron. The guards take over there. Yeah. Take over from the from the side. Yeah. We get uh, this hole from there. Yeah. We should lift this up. We'll turn around yeah. and go out. Then the, in this uh, low in this lower uh, entrance there was a brick wall. They should break this up. And then dig the tunnel all the top because there was a dirt. This is a gunning turret. I'm gonna I'm gonna look inside here. It's all rusted, but this is original stuff. Look at that. That's where the guy sat right there. But this is like an automatic gun. It had 39 tons of steel surrounded, so this is all cast iron steel. And that's where all the ammunition was stored in all those little shells right there. Crazy stuff. I love it. Okay, let's go. Uh, look, this, is, this is the ventilation. This is the what? The ventilation, oh, the, the manual ventilation. Oh. For chemical gas. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. We can go on the second floor. Okay. So now we are going underground. Okay. Now we're going underground. Only one floor, then next night. Okay. It's not bad, David, you know it? These guys, these guys had a nice job. It's getting colder here, right? Oh yeah, it's getting colder. The big piping in here. What engineers to design all this. Okay. There should be an entrance into the anti-tank uh, gun. Okay. anti-tank gun. But there is never a it was a thing that's uh, why the Hitler stopped the, all the bullying here. Because when, they, when he came here in 1938, for the control, uh, he saw that no... Wow, the back that is a gun. long ways down there. 40 meters, 120 feet basically, 125 feet. The elevator shaft is only 23 meters, but all on the ground we don't have to on the ground. Record it on the on the side. Maybe take a look. Yeah. Whoa! I had to drop my phone down there. Oh, watch out! All the ventilation. Look at that. They used galvanized <laughs> back then, even. Huh. Clean air, dirty air, and uh, over pressure. What an engineering marvel this is. Do you have uh, do you know how they, they how deep they were digging by what what kind of machines? By people or by people? Only by people. Only by people. By hand? Only by people. By, by hand. hand. This was all machinery done. in the 1930s. Yeah. Uh, there was some small invented diggers, but uh, in all of the work right there between Odra and Silvata River, there was 40,000 people working here. And there on the central part with this underground, underground system, they were working with half of them, 20,000 people. 20,000 people. They digging non stop. Digging hand by 
Can you imagine if I install bunkers today with just shovels? You know what? But there's places where I literally have to do that because I can't get an excavator in there. Then we've got to build the bunker out of concrete on site, same as they did in the 30s. People think because we're in 2022, everything's got to be done with machinery. That's not the case. So, so now we're on the bottom. Why do you the ground? It smells. Wow. It's a long ways up there. And it's all done by hand. That's just crazy. Here we got the map. There was no technician that you heard this. And why they used to separate the border from the Poland? After the first world war, they've, uh, they've got something like 30 of themselves. So their army should be only maximum 100,000 soldiers. And the Polish army in this time, after polish Bolshevik war, after the Kupolski uprising and Shlonsky uprisings, our army should be even one and a half million soldiers and more. So almost two million of Polish soldiers against 100,000 German, German soldiers. So when the Hitler came into the power in Germany, he decided to secure all the German soldiers. So this is the train tracks. This is Mr. Ron. This is our part, the Lubuski, that we are here. It's the front. It's this fortified front between Barta and other rivers. So we're right there. Yeah, we're on the central part. Okay. Yeah, okay. We've got the north part yeah. with the single pass rivers between uh, rivers and between lakes. On the south, we've got uh, uh, on the single pass rivers, uh, 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 lake on the north between rivers, between lakes, and the central park, part, you, you can see, there is no uh, biggest lakes, big lakes on the north side, yeah. uh, or like on the south side, but we've got the hills. Okay. So the Germans dig into the hills to build all of this underground system. So then Hitler was here. This is like in the movie, you turn it, No, the other way. Sure. Yeah, just like that. Haha! <laughs> I made a World War II movie, guys. This is cool. Let's go. On the left, we have a only for an automatic mortar. Two chambers for almost 5,000 rounds of grenades. What was it? Oh, the ammunition. Only ammunition for automatic motor. Wow. But the main warehouse for Panzer Werks on the left side. These damn Germans built these things heavy. I mean, look at these walls. They're like two feet thick. Yeah, they, but this is just... They didn't mess around. The ammunition. Yeah. The rebar they were using. Wow. And on the walls we've got a all historical fortification. How did it change during the case? All this dug out by hand? Yes, everything was dug by hand. That's crazy. Like in the mines. Well, this is just dirt, though. I mean, you got 40,000 people digging, so. Yeah, but everything is connected to Huh? To the other levels. See? Yeah. That's yeah, the second floor up there. If you take a look how it uh, looks like original. This is underground system of Panzerberg. This is it. Right here. Yeah. The main magazine. Here was the second floor. Yeah. It's the magazine for only for this. Where are we at right now? Yeah. We are right on there. Here. 
Uh, now we're going into the engine rooms. Here we are. Yeah. What are all these? These look like air filters. Yeah, there, there are uh, air filters for dirty air. We really clean it up right here in the engine rooms and threw up right along the all of Panzerberg. Damn, Germans were way ahead of their time, you know it? It was Smart. like coal filters, yeah. Look how how the turret was made. Everything, everywhere. Oh, there's there's a filter. Yeah. Like we have today. <laughs> it's amazing. Almost in every room was a filter. In every room there was a filter. So what happened? They closed that off or is that just the end of it? For the, because the Germans closed the whole thing right uh, in the 30% of the doors. So but that, went, that did go all the way through? Uh, the, the, when we can see the brick walls, yeah. it's only for the next uh, building. So this, when they stop the works, mm -hmm. they're in this 30%, they built a brick wall for the future next building. Hmm. Okay. Because they built uh, 106 objects, but they planned to build uh, more than 50, uh, 300, 300 of these ones. So they built 300 of this they layout? More than 300 of, of objects, and they built only 106. 106 of these. Wow. So look how much money is it. No shit. This today would cost so much money. This is a big tunnel here. Okay. You can see how it should look in original. So there's the uh, air filters. Air filters, yeah. Generators. Yes. Generators, magazines, with the workshop, and we've got the wheel. That's basically because like a modern bunker today, even. Because every Panzer has uh, access to the water. Because we are up the hills, so we are 30 meters underground, but the uh, water level is more than 20 meters. So look, so, so they, they have to dig by hand 50 meters to get to the water. Wow. It's crazy. It's impressive. I have a lot of respect for these Germans for their engineering. Everything is in the shape of the egg, yeah? Of the X? Egg. Egg. Oh, of the egg. Everything. So everything's in the shape of the egg because it's stronger. And when the blast coming from the top? Yeah. Those be that's why I'm talking about that new shelter, because it's the shape of the egg, and it will take the artillery blast. Yeah. Okay. Underground barracks. With the map of the underground system. So we are right there, in the Panzer yeah. 170. We are going in the communication tunnel, much smaller than the main traffic road, into the highway. From highway we are going to the north side, through Gustav to Friedrich on the right side and into the Panzerberg 719. Hmm. Four and five. So we'll be walking four and a half kilometers. Two and a half kilometers, that's like two miles. More stairs, more rooms. This would be the good job during the war, I'm telling you. To stay down in this nice cool bunker, you know? With tall, it's got eight foot ceilings. See that? Can't even touch the ceiling in here. Yeah, they didn't want to make them claustrophobic in here. The only installation that I'm telling you. Communication installation and for the lights. You see? This is the, almost the same lights that the other one. Yeah. You got bats in here? Yes. Uh, one of the biggest uh, reservoirs bats, so bats in Europe. Where are they at? Uh, now, no. Uh -huh. Now, nowhere, because it's, uh, now it's uh, late uh, spring, almost summer. Yeah. So now they are outside. Well, if we see any bats, you catch them, okay? Okay. They're All only, right. they're I don't know here, so I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. So we put communication tunnel. Okay. All right, still got the railroad tracks. Oh, the light came on, that's good. 
but very low train. The train was only on the oh, main wow. Road. Yeah. Oh, wow, look how far this is going to go. There are only carts that was pushing by the soldiers. Oh, really? The wow. So This is so oh, crazy because this actually saw action. And, I mean, there was men down here. And, but they're safe down here, you know it? I mean, that's why it's still here. <laughs> this did not get blown up. We're 140, 125, 130, 140 feet underground. Yeah, you're safe down here. We've got almost everything how it looks like in the original one. On the top we've got a light. On the yeah. left side we've got a communication cable. Yeah. And under the Is that the original communication cable? No, it's original. It's our from the okay. camera. <laughs> All right. But it uh, it's, uh, goes uh, through the original lines of communication. It's the original railroad track, sir. Yeah. And under the road, uh, road with the rail tracks, there is a uh, pipes that took out the water from the underground system. I mean, this is living proof. If you make your bunker right, it's going to last a long time. So this one here is 80 years old, <clears throat> and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this bunker. It'll work today. And how do you think uh, you would survive the nuclear blast? You would down here. I see some flashlights waiting down there at the end. So keep in mind, this, this, these tunnels actually go on a network for like 150 kilometers, so that's what, 90 miles? A little break room, oh, communications room. So they got a radio down here, they can turn the handle. The Americans! The Americans! Of course, they never said that down here. They probably just said, The Russians! The Russians! Okay, which way? Okay, then we've got to the uh, unfinished bunker, 7 Harvest 18 tunnel. There's uh, a destruction of tunnel in time of the building. Okay. Uh, so we're going. That way. Right in the, to the main traffic road. Okay. You can change the railways. See? I'll do that again. Oh, cool. Still works too, huh? Still works like almost everything in our part of the system. Well, these Germans made things to last, didn't they? Very solid. R really, very good quality, like, like Swiss, yes? Yeah. Well, under this place was a main electric cable. For this, for this uh, underground system. Is that the original flooring right there? Uh, not original. The tiles? <laughs> okay, that's not. Uh, that's not. The village people, they have it. Yeah, they have it. <laughs> so there's no lights in this part of the tunnel. There's no lights, only on the railway station. Damn it, David, we should have brought some spray paint. We could have painted our name on the wall. <laughs> graffiti. Yeah, I'm telling you. Atlas. Oh, look at all this graffiti. Somebody beat us to it. Oh. There is something special yeah. to secure the walls from this uh, water. Yeah. When the water goes up right in the tunnels and the concrete was not so good as, they, as it used to be, and the water came across these uh, walls, so they, they put this uh, special, layer. Spe special layer on these walls to stop the water. Huh. Okay. Oh, no, this is the part. There is the part that is uh, on the hundreds of meters. Well, this is a good sign that the, we're this deep and it's not leaking, you know. It's 30 meters. Yeah, and we're not leaking. You don't want water. Another intersection. To, okay, another little room where a man would sit. So every about, what, 300 yards? 300 meters there was a guard, I guess. Yeah, he's part of the guard. I would imagine it wasn't too easy to fool the Germans. They're pretty smart people. The last bankers fell after one and a half of the months of defense. So they were tied by the Russians and fired into the last one of... Little ties, I guess, for lights or something electrical. For wires. Yeah. Well, we come about a kilometer or two? It's not... Uh, unless one kilometer. It is a long race. I can see something down there. It looks like an end almost, or something. Sure, a lot of graffiti on the walls down here. Everything was open, open between the 80s and 90s. Oh, it was? Oh, during the, uh... okay, yeah, because the Soviet Union had control. So people would come down here and party, eh? 
So I'm they noticing the, the concrete the connections are really good. Uh, they throw the concrete between the desks, then they take the this, uh, metals, so, uh, metal one, bars, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So in the shape of the... So two and a half, two and a half meter. It's about eight yeah, feet. But yeah. every eight or ten feet they do a connection. These things right here, in case uh, they wanted to collapse the tunnel, they could put their uh, Bangalore explosives in these holes right here, and they could collapse this part of the tunnel and shut the Russians off behind them. So there's about uh, 10, meters. 10, 10 meters of these things right here. So I put a stick of dynamite in there, set it all off, and boom, collapse the tunnel so they could uh, get out. Oh, we're coming up on a turn. A lot of graffiti. So you tell me, during when the Soviets had control of this, this was just wide open. Anybody could come down here and party. Now this this one's a lot bigger in here. This is the main traffic road. Okay. North to the south side, 11 kilometers long. With all of the oh wow. Other tunnels and there's the main entrance into the main traffic road. Yeah. It's um, more than 33 kilometers of the tunnels. Wow. Maybe I We're going this way? Oh, you got lights, cool. It's a city underground, isn't it? Yeah, that way people can march over here too. I think this is where they parked an extra train, maybe. Okay, next we can go. You see. Maybe. Does that stop? Shine the light in there. We are going there. Oh no, that keeps going. We are going there. We are going there. We're going there. But okay. for a moment, All right. first we are going on the right side. Okay. So where are we, are we going to see this big factory? This space? So we're seeing all the tunnels, but I don't see where they made the bombs. Yeah, because, uh, there was a factory for Mercedes. 7,000 people were making the tunnels. Yeah, but where's it at? Where's the factory underground? Everywhere. Everywhere. Because more than 7,000 perfect laborers uh, work at here. But everything, every engine, every machinery was taken out from the tunnels by the Russians after the war. We stay this to the Russians. Hmm. Like every, everything in Poland. But we've got one machinery. There is one machine left. left. Two machines, exactly. That was left after the underground factory. From France, from Poland, from Russia, USA, Canada, almost from all of the front lines. Now what is that? A hot water heater? A boiler? Uh, it's to keep the pressure of the water from the underground factory. You see, everything is riveted. Big rivets. How did these it's engineers not know how to do all this stuff in the 30s? It's painted felt, though. Yeah? The color felt, though. It's the color of the German army. German army, the green one. Yeah, it's, you can't see it in the video, probably, but it, yeah, it is green. Ventilator? Yeah, the fan. Look at the impeller and the blades and everything. It was balanced with... 1989. Look at that. During the Cold War stare. We've got the hole. And you can see in which type of the dirt of the ground they were digging right there. Oh, that's what the ground was like. Oh, it's soft. Oh my God, it's so soft. It's like sand. Like, like a sponge. Yeah, it's like sand. So this was very... Man, how'd they keep it from caving in? That's something's happened when this uh, tunnel will collapse during the war. Wow, I, that's like sand. That's not even digging, hardly. That's just like plain and sand. So this will be the shape of that concrete bunker I'm looking at. It's an egg shape. It's very strong naturally. So this is living proof that it works. Open this. This is a secure from breaking through this underground system because it happens. See guys, we're getting a private tour for you so I can make this YouTube video for you. We're going in places that aren't available to the public. Look at this sign. I wonder if that's original. Is that German? No, no it's, it's Polish. It's, it's, it's Polish. Polish. Reservat for, Reserva for bats. Okay. okay. We can go. We can go. Well, it's like a horror movie. So we're yeah, going in an area that's secured off that's uh, not allowed to be seen by tourists. So this is like, uns 
for secret guests like yeah. Ron. Yeah, for, for secret guests like Ron, eh? <laughs> so there's the first water I've seen down here. It will be more water. Uh, really? Thor, but not so much. But that's it. First one I've seen. It's the pose for the metal bars to make here a second floor. Okay. To double the magazine's square meters. Another hole. Another a drain. This is part of a factory down here. The train would run to the left, but there would be machines off to the right here. And uh, people would work right beside the trains, just in the spot. And the power was coming from the floor over here on the right. A little water drain. There was another room there for a guard, I guess. But they were making ammunition down here, thousands of people. An engine part. Do they make the jets down here? Three kilometers. Yeah, three kilometers into the main entrance, into the main traffic route for the train. For the train. South? It's deep. It's just amazing the uh, engineering and the design. So straight, too. Okay, so what's this? Uh, Gustav railway station, the second one that, that we could see in our three hour tour. In all of the underground system, there is 16 underground railway stations. So we will see only three of them. Uh -huh. So there is still another bunker way. Yeah, there's so another path. Was never built. Yeah. There was only elevator shaft for him. Uh huh. Uh, into the uh, on, on the outside, but there is only a fundament and nothing more. Uh -huh. Because they built everything here in the three steps. The three steps was an underground system for a passenger, yeah. then elevator shaft, and in the end, in the three step uh, was building a passenger on the outside. That's why, the, after the decision of Hitler for stopping the building here, many passengers have a watch out, because there are holes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Many underground systems for a passenger are built, but on the old side, you can see only a fundament if you are lucky. Ah, so that they were not finished. Yeah. So Hitler came and stopped, stopped everything. He was so angry with his generals that one of them was <laughs> push out. Here was a communication room. They put in the cables, of course, on the boxes. Uh, every panther break uh, could We'll take a phone to the other parts of it on the whole so of the line. So this is the original concrete here. This is original concrete. All right, so they didn't paint it white till after the Germans got kicked out. So this is some of the original tunnels. There's water uh, down here. Something interesting on the right. This numbers. Yeah. S67, S66. These are places where the factory of Mercedes were placed mm. on the ground system. Some original numbers here, B41. B40. B40. I don't know what that referred to. There were stations for yeah. assembling of... Uh, what else? For fossil transports. For the, the Mercedes part. B38. Everything is original. Okay, this area is looking pretty worn here. There's a bat! There's a bat! Yeah? Yeah, there are existing toilets. Watch out for the... Okay, now where are we going? Uh, almost not existing toilets. Oh, wow. Toilets uh, and... Uh, Oh, you know, bathrooms for uh, parted laborers. In the Are those stairs that go to the surface? Yeah, on the floor there was some toilets. Yeah. And the pipes, etc. I was going to say, where did everybody pee in down here? Did they show? Somewhere there. 
Okay, this is just uh, an office. Okay, this is on the way to the surface, yeah. Look at this, we found people. A military. These are Polish soldiers? <laughs> Can you get directions to the McDonald's down here? Where are they going? Okay. Are we going the two? So we're going to go down to the cross section, down about 150 yards. Okay. Okay, on the left, we've got it for another almost two and a half kilometers. We've got the main entrance into the tunnels. And on the right side, in the front, we got the rest of the. Oh, look at all the water, yeah. We don't want to go through that. It's our extinctors. <laughs> yeah. Some of them, that you need a boat. Yeah. 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 Well, that one's going uphill, you can tell. See, it's starting to go up. Mm. Oh wow, that's cool. So we're gonna leave this tunnel here. <laughs> it's a big one. Okay, we're... Whoa. Something special here. Okay. Oh yeah, right in the middle. Here we've of the floor. got something special. Yeah. Uh, it's the Polish uh, numbers of the objects. Hmm. When our army came here, they changed the numbers of the objects uh, from 719 and 720 to 2561 and 2500. 63. What's that mean? Uh, the Germans called the Spanzerbergs with uh, the seventh and the start, six, five, four. Yeah. Uh, that was depends on the units who should take the cover inside the fortifications. For example, the objects that were from 600 to 800 should be uh, protected by the unit, by the ten. Uh, our third army of German Wehrmacht. It's about a mile later. We're still walking through a tunnel. We're walking through water though. You can feel we're going uphill. A little bit. <laughs> On the walls we got the calculations of German engineers. What is that? Calculations of German engineers. Uh, it's the length of the tunnel from the uh, crossroad. Huh. Okay. On the three places. Yeah. The, into the millimeters. They were smart. Uh, they have no calculator. <laughs> Except they lost the war. So there's no echo down here because yeah. there's no paint on the walls? Yeah, because uh, our volume. Uh -huh. It's uh, taken by the wall. You can see it's not a uh, structure that is uh, soft. Yeah. So the, our volume is going into this wall. Yeah. And uh, have no nothing that will be hidden harder again from the wall on the other side of the tunnel. And when you have the painted tunnels, the walls is getting so softer and softer. Yeah. So our walls. It's getting closer and closer. But we're coming up on the painted part. As soon as you hit the painted part, look at that. It echoes. So when you put paint on concrete in a dome like this, it creates an echo. Because the uh, concrete will absorb the sound, the paint is actually deflecting it. Whoa. You! Did you find the exit? Hello, help! You find an exit? Somewhere 
So is this another one of those areas where they have the rooms? Yeah, this is barracks, but they are finished. Not like in the Pantheon 717. Yeah. The, 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 that will be unfinished. Then we've got how it should look like in original. Yeah. But without doors, of course. Yeah. So how do we get out of here? Can you see any difference? Despite... It's the same as the other one, yeah. It's the same one. Yeah. So over there, yeah. Yeah. So it comes up to another pillbox. Okay, the same stairs again. Elevator shaft. Except there's no elevator. Wow. So we're going up. Okay, so we're about 75 feet underground. Getting tired. I want sunlight. How this hole is. Yeah. How it works. Okay, how do we get out of here? Uh, for a moment I will open this up. But can you stay there? Go there and he will, use, and he will make a move. Okay, alright. So there goes the moat door. And that's a moat right there. So if they go into their bunker from right here, <laughs> it always get to them. And then they can shoot at them as well through that little hole right there. So they, they can also shoot at them through there. So here it comes back down. The moat door. Yeah. The problem is not Okay. <laughs> These Germans were sick, weren't they? Uh, I mean, that's, that's smart. I know they're smart. That's sick. It's so smart. I never wanted to get a bunker so bad in my life. Only two of them of these uh, doors are uh, useful in all of uh, Europe. Really? Uh, Ta-da! Okay. Oh, I'm so ready to get out of this thing. I never wanted to get out of a bunker so bad in my life. Oh, crud. Oh, Till this one. Wow. All right, it was awesome that ride. That was cool. That was... I'm just out of shape. You better be in shape when you go through these things because we walked, what, four or five miles down there through yeah. tunnels? That was crazy. What we got here? Another one of these bunkers with machine gun ports, ventilation. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Thank you for letting us out of the bunker. <laughs> no problem. That was a lot of walking. I'm sweating, and it was cold down there, and I'm sweating. Whew. I've never wanted to get out of a bunker so bad in my life, but you know, four or five miles of walking underground, we came out through this, uh, there's what, 106 of these that were built? So I don't, we're out in some middle of some field here, but uh, no, I had enough of that. I was ready to get out of there. It was worth it. Oh yeah, that was Very cool. Nice. Everyone has to come here and do this at least once, you know? I'm telling you, the Germans were smart, but this uh, dirt is so soft. Yeah, we're just out in the middle of some field. Okay, there's some more of these. Uh, so they have the observation. Ventilation. Ventilation, one. ventilation, yeah. Because the combat was, we were blown up by the, our army after the war. What was this? The big one. Tons. Oh, the big one. Uh, 52 tons of steel. Wow. Our army that blow this up. Really? After the war. Look at the screws with the thread. Yeah, see, those giant screws, those are like three, four inch diameter screws, bolts. Those are huge. But it's not the heaviest one that was planned to build here, these objects. Yeah? It's only beaver. So it's in alphabet, it's second one. Uh, the top and the sides of the passenger are five meters of one and a half meters of concrete. Uh, Averks that should, should have been building right there on the uh, bottom, you know, on the uh, rear of the Panzerwerks, rear of the uh, tunnel system. Here comes the military vehicle. Yeah? Yeah, you see it coming? Yeah. 
Is he coming to get us? Yes, he's coming for us. Here comes our ride. He called for uh, an uh, armored vehicle, a BMR or whatever it's called, BPR. This is crazy. This is the same kind of whiz that Germans would have been hiding in during World War II. And this stuff here, this kind of soft dirt. Here comes a German, hey, here comes some Germans. There's the vehicle. Get the rocket launcher, the MLA. Uh oh, the Germans, they stopped right there. I feel like I'm in saving Private Ryan right now, you know it? Half track cover! All right, is here. Cool. In, in, milit in World War II style, too. So we're going to get in here. Ride back. Ugh. Hey, I'm going to man the machine gun. Holy Thank shit. You much. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Casa. And then they have bats there. That's what the signs were. I did see one bat and he flew right into my camera. Burger King. No, it's not Burger King. It's Bunker King. And I thought I was the Bunker King. Nah. Bunker King is a hamburger joint in the middle of uh, Poland. Hello. Hello. Nice sandwich. I mean, nice ice cream. Yeah. We want a Bunker King hamburger. For you, special one, with all of the crap. How am I supposed to get that in my mouth? Oh. Wait, what did you get, Swiss burger? Yeah, I have just the meat, the cheese, and that's all. I mean, that thing's like five, six inches tall right there. How's a human being supposed to get that in their mouth? Well, we'll find out. I just find it amazing that there could be fighting here if the Russians decide to come in. These concrete walls will be used to stop bullets, not keep dogs in. So this is the little town right by the uh, entrance of the uh, bunker system that we were just at. 
So if any of you people want to find out where it's at, I don't know. So everything's in like Polish, but I'm trying to get some uh, video of some of the signs. Yeah, I don't know what the name of this town is even called because they don't have any English words there. Everything is in Polish. It's pink and purple. All right, so it's in the town by the pink and purple bridge. That helps anybody find it. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video today. Now I went and saw seven bunkers in seven days while I was in Europe. So make sure you catch all these videos I'm doing about all these bunkers I saw in Europe. But make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that little thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.